Hello everyone, my name is Rexby and welcome back to some more Let's Play Ara Fell. Last time around we uh, started chapter 2, came here to Doran's house and uh, we're about to go ahead and enter this bed and sleep. Uh, I just did a save before this so we don't need to save right now. But let's go to sleep and see where the story takes us next. I still find it like I should be waking up from all this soon. Of course... I've never really had a dream quite this weird before. Lida, I... I thought you might like to be tucked into bed. You haven't done that in years. It seemed fitting tonight. I just wanted you to, to remind you that I love you. And we'll figure this out somehow. Thank you, Papa. I love you too. Try to get some rest. In the morning, we'll see what can be done about this mess. We'll get through this together. Maybe one day we'll look back on all this and laugh. Good night, my daughter. Night, Papa. This whole dream thing really does. This whole thing really does seem like a dream. A few hours later. Lady Sarah Kasu, I have a concern. I'd be shocked if you didn't. Yes, I heard Dorn and Lord Armani speaking. Is it settled? We're going to these array ruins Lita mentioned? It seems some of Dorn's old work was about an old shrine there, one of the considerable importance to the elves. There's no reason the girl should have known about it. It sounds like her encounter with that elven spirit was legitimate to me. I understand. But is it necessary that she comes with us? I will assist you myself however I can, but Lida? The girl may be young, but she's not half bad with that bow of hers. And we are rather lacking in manpower today. We're going to need your daughter's help. But she's not a warrior. She's a little girl. She's 16. Not even old enough to wed. 16, Edmund, is not the age of a little girl. She has a ring, and it's not coming off. That's all there is to this discussion. If there were a way to undo what has happened to Eloria, we're going to need her. If we're going to array, she's coming. I do hope you've raised her to be strong. <sighs> so do I. Oh cool, so we are going with them. That's good that we're not just being excluded. Early that morning. Oh. I hear... What in the world was that? Yeah, let's uh, go check it out. Oh, I like how our boots were out of the bed and we jumped in it. That is such a neat little touch. But I really, really like that. That is so well done. Stop fighting, old man. Nobody else has to die. Give us the girl with the ring and that'll be the end of it. Freeze in the abyss. I'm not giving you anything, let alone my daughter. We're getting that ring one way or another, and we don't need you alive for it. Oh, no, they killed her dad. Papa, no! There she is. Child, you are coming with us. I will spare the rest of these people should you submit. She will be unable to remove the ring, so do try to leave her mostly unharmed. We will need her intact. Need me? Need me for what? You're with the vampires? Barmon, is this your doing? You were a faithful member of Temple Orleon for years. Now you strike? He can explain that after I put a fireball through his chest. I trusted you, bastard. Much more is at stake than any of you realize. Put away your magic, sorceress. I can't move. Stasis magic? Baramon, have you been capable of this all along? Yes, I have. Azatel, Nere, take the girl. Azatel, that was the name Argus said in Loria. I don't know what the abyss is going on here, but nobody's taking me anywhere. I will kill everyone in this room to take you if you force me to. Stand down. You can't win this fight. You're not making it any easier on yourself or anybody else. 
from the darkness, a familiar voice whispers in Lida's ear. Lida, listen to me. I know this is strange and frightening, but you've been given the power to end it. Diane's ring was forced with sunlight, imbued with the magic to defeat the shadows. You must use its power, child. Asari? Where are you? What power? What do I do? For the love of... Who are you talking to? Just be quiet and come with us already. Defeat the shadows? I don't know what that means, but here goes nothing. Lita, no. Just run. We'll keep them busy as long as we can. Take the artifact and flee. What is she doing? It's Diane's ring. Her powers have manifested already. Azdel, Nere, we're leaving now. It's sunlight. How is she doing this? Shield yourself. It burns. Oh, God, let's make it stop. Well then, I rather assumed we were going to die there. One of the few times I'm pleased to be wrong. The girl mentioned that elven spirit. I still think she just dreamed her up. That was the magic of the elves. The power of sunlight. The artifacts of power were forged by it. I expected her powers to manifest in time, but not this quickly. Oh, you expected that, did you? How wonderful. Because I don't know what the abyss is going on right now. I'm sorry, there's much to explain and no time to explain it. A secret door is in the back of my bedroom. Take Lita through it. You'll find a magic circle outside in the grass. The ring will allow Lita to use it. I will see what I can do for the fallen here. We went over about 10 different theories in our research last night. You really believe she can fly? Hypothesis is correct? It had better be. Now go, and we'll explain all of this when there's time. Barmon and Azita have escaped. There's only one reason I can think of as to why they need Lida alive. And what is that reason? I guess we're not gonna get told. Well, at least we woke up. Ow, my head. What happened? Frankly, I'm not sure. There's no time to figure it out now. Get over here, girl. Well, okay. Let's go. There should be a secret door here. Aha! This way. Right behind you. Oh, cool. And now we get to take over control again. Oh, hey. That's... This must be the... Those green circles. We've seen them before. Okay. So we're gonna finally learn what they do. Sorry, Keisu. What's going on? Is Daddy alright? Thorn will do all he can for him. Sometimes vampire bites can be cured. Sometimes they can't. We can't worry about that now. Thorn has a theory. And we're going to see if it's true. Now stand on the circle behind you. Why? What's going to happen? Yes, too many questions, girl. Get on the circle and then do as I say. Now. Okay. Fine. Now what? We're going to unlock the power of that ring. If Dorn is right, you're about to learn how to fly. Awesome. What, really? We'll see in a moment. Dorn explained that these green circles are elven enchantments on the earth. They allow you to generate magical energy. If that's true, they'll change you into a spirit that can float. Now close your eyes. Concentrate. Diane's ring is a part of you now, and so is its power. Concentrate like you did at the archery competition, and just now, to defeat those vampires. I don't feel anything. It's not working. Well, you damn well better make it work, girl. I can promise you that attack won't be the last one we see. Fine. Keep doing it. Stay focused. Concentrate. You're a conduit for this thing's power. That's it, you're getting it. Ooh, we're starting to glow. Oh, wow, oh. There, you've got it. You can only take to the air at these green circles, and that's the only place you can land. So keep an eye out for them. If Dorn is right, you can bring others traveling with you along during the flight. Okay, so press enter or spacebar on these green circles to activate this power. Fly to the other side, girl. From there, head to the west. Follow the path to the blood forest and take the trails north. 
That will lead you to the array ruins. I will meet you there after I have dealt with the injuries of the others from the attacks. Now go, and be careful finding your way to the ruins. Oh man, this is cool. So where do we have to go exactly? I mean, I know we have to go to Blood Forest, but I guess we're gonna land here? Wow, what a rush! The stupid ring is so bad after all! Except Papa might die and everyone else is turned to stone. So the answer is in our ruins beyond Blood Forest, huh? I'll figure this out for you, Papa. And save Mom, too. And everybody else. You'll be proud of me, Papa, if you ever wake up. I promise. Okay. Here goes nothing. Alright, well that's a pretty good start to the episode so far. Uh, some pretty cool story development. We got a new skill. You were right after all. Lita used the power of that ring to fly. She's on her way to blood first now. It will be dangerous. The kingdom of Array was one of the first to fall to the vampires. They've held it ever since. Doran, I need to understand exactly what you know and how you know it. What's going on here? I don't know why people have turned to stone. I don't know why the vampires want this ring. And how the abyss does Baramon fit into this? I need answers to these questions. Doran, you know something you're not telling me. Sorry, Kesu. I've been studying this for many, many years. I've written tomes on the subject. I cannot explain it to you in the few moments we have to spare. You have to trust me. I'll explain it all when the time comes. Very well, Doran. I'm going to catch up with the girl. Before you leave, I think you should know that Lord Armenia's past. The bite killed him. He was a good man, and he died defending innocent people against the darkness. It is how he would have wanted to go, I think. I think so too. For now, I intend to stay behind and attempt to cure Lita's father and Simeon. There is still some time yet before they will turn. And I'm going with Lita. I don't expect you can get to Array alone. Do what you can for these people. Despite our differences, I do not doubt that you would come with us if there was another way. I would, and there isn't. I can only wish you luck, sorry Keisu. And it was good to see you again. I hope this is not the last time. I wouldn't hold your breath if I were you. Farewell, Doran. Alright, well, Blood Forest is just west of here. I guess there's nothing left to do but just go and hope everyone knows what the abyss they're talking about. Uh, sure, we'll do a quick save. It takes, like, no time at all to save anyway, so... I'm totally okay with that. Um... Wait, do we go... Yeah, we go to the west. And this was the Blood Forest itself. And then if we came up here... Oh! Right, the guard is now stone. So, they shouldn't block us from entering the forest anymore. Oh, there's some plants there. Uh, sometimes I really wish you could just walk all over the plants. It would be slightly less realistic, but some of them just block you needlessly, in my opinion. Okay, let's say go up here. There was this little cave. I guess there's nothing inside it. I just have to go further up. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can get past there. Maybe on this other side? Syracuse said to come through Blood Forest. There must be a way I can open this. Hmm. There must be a way. Let's see if we can figure it out. Maybe it's somewhere more over here? No, that leads us to the apple orchards. I don't think we've ever been to the apple orchards, actually. Oh, hey, we can fly there. Unfortunately, everyone here is pretty much stoned, so... This isn't really the best time for a visit here, I feel. Hmm, and now we can't take them anymore? I don't think they're watching though, because they are pretty much stone right now. Mm. 
Doesn't look like there's too much of interest over here, though. At least I expected more. Hey, well, there's a chest. 500 coins, that's nice. I will gladly take that. We can always fly from this spot, too, if we want to. Oh, four stardust, four herbs, three crystals. Nice. See anything else over here? Hmm. I don't really see anything. Yeah. I guess uh, that's about all there is here. Let's just see if we can fly again. Oh yeah, and then we just become this little spirit. I think it looks pretty cool. And it really makes sense for like floating islands to give you this ability. I think that is very fitting. Okay, where was the landing spot? I know there was one here around somewhere. Right? I thought there was. Am I going blind? Is it maybe a bit more up north? We'll check a bit more up north. Oh yeah, here it is. So we'll just land. Okay, well... Apple orchards don't really seem to have much for us now, so we should really continue in the blood forest and uh, figure out a way to get past there. Maybe there's something inside here that we can use. Hmm. Like a key or anything. Hmm. I don't see anything. I thought there might be like a switch or something. Unless we can like float over with... If we can find a flying spot, then yeah, we could possibly float over there. Let's see if we can find one of those then. Because it doesn't seem like we can just walk past. Oh, oh wait, there, there's a switch. I hope we don't get in trouble for this. If these guys ever wake up, I'm sure we'll be fine, Lita. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, there's a big spider enemy there. I guess we're gonna encounter new enemies. This forest is so big. Oh, hey, wait, we can just, we could have just walked past here. Let's city. okay, let's fight this new enemy. Prepare for battle, okay. Um. I want to go ahead and use my scout. Spider and a hawk. Okay, let's check out the spider. 175 HP, 50 attack. Okay. Well, that's not going to do a lot of damage, actually. And what about this hawk? Also 150. I think this might be a really, really tough battle because... We're already poisoned. And yeah, okay, let's do multi-shot. Yeah, no, we we are we are we're we're dead. Um can we escape? We can, okay. Because that that was not going well. We're not really strong enough at the moment to take on these enemies solo, so we'll have to try and dodge these enemies for now until uh Doran groups up with us. Oh, wait, there, there is something over there. A flamestone. Okay, awesome. I'll save it for a little bit. Is there anything up here? No? Hmm. Okay. Back down it is. Don't attack me, eagle or hawk. Or you, spider. I don't want to battle. Ugh. These enemies are all way too strong. I don't see the hawk anymore. I know it's down there. Okay. There we go. We got past it. And we can swim in this water and actually enter this cave. Let's see what's inside here. I really like that these little caves are all over the map. That's just really nice, you know, to be able to explore all these tiny optional caverns everywhere. Let's see. Oh, no. Didn't mean to get in a battle. And there's another new enemy. 
What is it called? Let's actually scout. Oh, it's a mole. 60 HP. We could potentially take that guy out. So let's go for a holy arrow on you. Boom, we took that one out. Okay, good. Now let's see if we can uh, take down this spider. Maybe the spider hawk combo is just too much, but just the spider and one of these moles should be easy enough to take out. Okay, and we can use our skills again this turn. So let's use a holy arrow. Boom, and the spider is dead. Victory. 1200 experience that seems like a lot although i don't actually know how much we need for the next level it should say in status right mm, no it doesn't say how oh we're right yeah we need a uh, 3750 more for the next level okay that's not too bad i suppose i'm gonna get past that eagle I wonder when um, when we'll m team up again because uh... oh wow we jumped nice because yeah I, I want a teammate again I, I don't want to walk around alone the entire time I really like having a bigger party ah hello how did you do that I'm a sorceress you made your own arm they see are you prepared as I'll ever be I guess Good. The Arrow Ruins are not far from here, but it seems the way is guarded by vampires. We'll likely have to fight at least some of them. Better be on your toes, girl. Let's go. Alright. Seri Kesu has joined your party. Seri Kesu is a mage with large magic pool that doesn't regenerate in combat, but refreshes after. Her elemental magic skills with intelligence, and her spells have a chance to afflict a status condition. Nice, and she is level 6. Um, let's definitely up her intelligence then. And also our magic. Um, maybe a little bit of defense. Yeah, that works. Actually, let's check her out too. Um, so yeah, you have... You have a lot of less attack. But you have a lot more magic. Like, way more. Okay, but it doesn't re reach recharge in battle. Okay, she has fire, ice magic, earth magic, lightning magic, and elemental burst. Okay. Pretty expensive, actually. Oh, wait. All of these are 25, so that's not too bad. But these are 150. Although they do hit everyone, of course. She'll be an interesting character for sure. Let's see. Staff 1. Magic Conduit 2. Wait, conduit plus 1. Okay, this would lower our intelligence. But it regenerates magic. Ooh, that's interesting uh, we can definitely put on this hatband though I'm not sure I'll, I'll stick with the conduit for now and we'll see if we really need that magic recharge we can always try it later on uh, there should also be uh, flamestone plus 5 attack I'm not sure who I want to put that on I think I will leave the flamestone for now okay and uh, can, can we walk underneath these trees no, it does look like you can, but you can't. Okay, let's try a battle with our new party member then. Seri Keizu casts powerful spells, but her magic does not regenerate during combat unless she defends. Her magic is restored after battles. Okay, well that's cool. That's definitely pretty cool. Okay, Lita, let's go for the skill. Let's do a holy arrow on the spider. 77 damage. Okay, uh, let's do a spell on one. Let's try lightning magic on the hawk. That did decent. That did decent. Uh, okay, Lita, you can just attack the spider. And with Sari, we're gonna try 
I don't think Erd would do good on the Eagle. What about Ice? No, that did worse. So I definitely think that Lightning is the way to go on these Hawks. Although, I want to try different ones, of course. Let's see, how well does Fire do on the Hawk? Okay, that didn't really do too great either. So yeah, I definitely think Lightning on the Hawk is our best bet. How is this thing still alive? Let's do Earth on it. That works. 700 experience. I do like her though. I do think she's an interesting character to have. Are we restored yet? Doesn't matter. We'll go into battle. Okay, let's go. Ara. Okay, let's go for a skill. Let's just do a multi shot. And let's do a spell on all. Let's cost. Cost lightning on all. That works well. Okay, well, Lita, attack this eagle. Oh, it's still alive. That doesn't matter. Lightning on one. Boom. And you're down. Victory. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely liking a uh, new character. What was her name? Seri Kesu. I, I really do. Alright, looks like we've reached a new place. Are these the array ruins? This place seems pretty awful. Long ago, Ari was an elven city. Thorn believes it fell to the vampires early in the war. I expect the shrine we see is beyond the door to the north. Something tells me it won't be as easy as just walking up to it. If vampires are guarding it, the door will likely be sealed. What they might be guarding against, I can only guess. Hopefully it's the shrine we're looking for, and the curse can be broken. We should look for a way to unseal that door without alerting the vampires to our presence. Alright, I hope you're able to recreate that little trick you pulled at Dorn's place. We could use another one of your sun bombs. Recreate it? Then we'll have to hope it doesn't come to that. Let's go. You know what? I think we will go on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you are down there, maybe leave a thumbs up on this video. And I'll see you all next time when we explore these array ruins.